I've got this plate. Uh, it's a cylinder side cover for the OM314 out of the Land Cruiser I just bought. Um, this plate, however, here in front of us, this rusted one, is from Germany out of a Unimog um, I got from somebody on eBay. Uh, it was 25 bucks, but then another 50 to get it over here. Um, didn't even think to have uh, something on hand to like restore it. It looked in good shape uh, online. Anyways, long story short, I'm about to do some vinegar soak action. Uh, try to take some pictures and add it to the video, and then afterwards we can put it all together and do the thing. All right. All right. I thought I'd actually get some of these initial pour uh, dynamics. So this is a. Uh, just some distilled white vinegar. I'm just gonna slosh it in here and make sure that that whole thing is getting completely smooshed. You can already kind of start to see it this bubble in there. It might only take this one gallon. 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 Pretty close. Oh man, that's really close. Like, I mean, theoretically, I mean, theoretically, there's enough there that that there'd be a band right through here. Anyways, let me get another one. Okay, so Ruby's gonna help this round. We're just gonna top this off. You can see it's not quite fully. I could probably shake this and. Get it agitated, 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 agitated enough. Uh, but let's just make sure we've got enough in here. So, like I said uh, in the bit before this, this is just uh, grape juice, vodka. I'm gonna soak this in. And uh, not necessarily going to get any time lapse stuff going because that's uh, a lot of data and I'm not that guy. I'll take some pictures. Probably three or four hours later, um, I got him a little wire brush uh, just because I'm kind of an impatient bastard. Started kind of agitating it. And agitating, agitating, agitating it and uh, scraping it down. But I've already. I mean, a lot of it's already come off. There's obviously a ton left to do. Um, but if you remember from the previous one, I mean, this is literally the same, literally the same. day. Um, in any case, that's just a little update. I guess we'll check in uh, maybe tomorrow. Um, I am doing something else, so hold on a second. Uh, later in the same day, uh, we have a soupy mess. Uh, I have been working at it with uh, this little steel brush and then I had it out of the vinegar for a little while uh, as I was working on some paint uh, but in any case I had this thing going on it for a little bit too. Um, let's take a look. You can see where I was kind of getting a little aggressive there. Just kind of, I mean, a lot of that can be rinsed out. Um, just working a little bit on the other side, getting some paint off. But this is pretty much a mess. Uh, that's all we got today. Uh, yeah, and some rusty stew there. So here's my number one helper. Um, she's died um, from boredom. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna show you this freaking plate I'm working on. Okay, wait, first this is the guy. I'm just trying to get it going. There's just a few little things, um, but let's come around and I'll give you a tour. Try to get info uh, uh, you can see down here um, you can see the spacer first off on the starter 
Uh, that thing was interfering because to get that big starter out of here, it was interfering with the exhaust uh, manifold uh, coupling under the pipe there. Um, as you can see, uh, my plate, which we are renovating inside the garage, is going to replace this one because somebody has rigged up this. Messed up. Messed up. Messed up. Um, throttle assembly. Um, for the most part, it is original, um, but it is not, however, uh, functional. So the original Bonerone Land Cruiser plate had um, a different setup. In any case, I don't even want to get into it. Um, whatever they did has vibrated a giant hole in my cylinder side plate, and now anytime I reach operating temperature at 190 degrees, I have a mess. Massive deluge of water. This is massive deluge of water.